एवरीवन आई एम जानवी के जे एंड आई एम टेकिंग पार्ट इन द थर्टी डे वीडियो चैलेंज सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डू अ टाइनी सेवन इंच इंटू फोर पॉइंट फाइव इंच कैनवास पेंटिंग इन ऑयल एंड आई एम यूजिंग लिंसीड ऑयल एज माय मीडियम सो आई एम नॉट डूइंग एनी अंडर पेंटिंग योर बिकॉज आई नीड ब्राइट कलर्स I am doing something different. I am using orange and burnt sienna, uh, together with a little bit of cadmium yellow and titanium white for the sky. And uh, choosing colors is quite tricky. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. But there are certain color behaviors um the color mixing depends a great deal on getting to know the individual paints and how they react with each other but intuition and a palatable slice of color theory also plays a good role in color mixing and color behavior so usually the secondary colors are violet green and orange so i am using green orange and um, burnt sienna a little bit of black in my paintings today i am using only three brushes if you can observe or uh, what i would suggest to anybody is don't throw your brushes um because even if it becomes hard bristle brush then you can use it for you know making trees uh, or bushes in your painting um so no brush goes a waste so please don't throw away your brushes until it's you know completely <laughs> irreparable so i'm just going to give a few you know Uh, i'm going to use a technique where i'm going to use my brush to show the viewer that uh the green greenery has something in there you know there might be grass or there might be plantation such that uh it's not just a plain land and um, so yeah um uh, i would say that the french impressionists who were much concerned with color theory applied these colors alongside each other in small dabs you know and uh, this is brilliant technique that's what i'm doing right now i'm just using dabs of the color green and uh, raw amber and uh, titanium white and a little bit of cad yellow um uh, for highlights you know i think it's better to give a little bit of detailing and highlights at the corner of the trees um uh, because you have to show the spectator that uh, there's light falling on the you know surface of the tree so i'm just doing that i'm going to do the same dabbing technique uh for the other tree and uh give a little bit of highlight and um so now i'm i always do uh, the a path in my landscape paintings because i feel that for any uh viewer any human being is always trying to find a path uh so i think that they can relate to my paintings because of that and i always do boulders like mm-hmm. a little bit of rock um a few of rocks near the trees you uh, know it's like my signature style um i always do that 
however um i have to find new uh, ways to do my landscape for that i am planning to go on a small tour somewhere and see some nature and come back and do it i hope uh, there won't be any lockdown because of the third wave of covid-19 that's about to uh, come here in bangalore so i'm just using a little bit of tissue paper to wipe away the excess oil that's it nothing else i'm wiping away the excess oil um uh, wherever it is there um and that's it i'm uh, i'm doing the sides i always you know suggest everyone to do the sides sometimes for mini paintings um it looks better if it is filled with colors um for larger paintings if even if it is empty if you leave the sides plain white it really doesn't uh, matter that much it looks lovely however you have painted in the center of the canvas so after you paint the sides just place it on the easel uh, uh, or get it framed i right now i have an easel for this canvas so i'm using it and um, yeah that's it